I'm on. I'm on good. Snatched that cork and went gone. That Fred paddle tail, y'all. This popping cork is crushing it. Man, it's always good to have one of these on board. What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? It's Matt. Matt in a yak, eight rods in the back. And today, I want to talk to you about one of these eight rods that I have in the back. This right here is my popping cork setup. And I want to tell you why I consider this to be one of the ultimate popping cork setups that you could have on your vessel. Now, I know a lot of people may not use popping corks because they are uh, considered faux pas by some or uh, a beginner's tool or whatever you wanna call it, but I'm here to tell you that these popping corks are super, super effective and I believe everybody should have one on their boat with them every time they go out. Now, let's talk about why I consider this to be the ultimate popping cork setup. So let's go ahead and start with the most important tool out of this whole thing. That's gonna be your rod. The reason your rod is the most important thing is because when you use a popping cork, that suspends your bait. That cork is made to float at the surface no matter what. So when a fish pulls that cork under, your cork is already trying to fight to get back to the surface because it's buoyant and it floats. What that means is you need a rod that has a very fast action, just like this TFO Tactical. That way, when you go to set the hook on this popping cork, there is no loss of response time from the load up in the rod and the time it can take to pull that cork back to the surface. The fish is pulling it under and you need to pull it back up, but because the cork is buoyant, it will be trying to come back up on its own. That means you need to provide enough force to not only pull the cork back to the surface, but stop that fish and get a good hook set. Now this TFO Tactical Inshore Series Rod, this is a seven foot medium fast that I'm using. And the reason I like these TFO Tacticals is because they are a little bit heavier than most rods, but they have a super fast action tip on them. Now when that fish takes this cork under, this TFO Tactical will allow me to get a good hook set by lifting that cork back to the surface and setting that hook into the fish. Now the reason you don't wanna use a more moderate action rod is because when you do go to set the hook with one of those moderate action rods, you have a lot more flex in that rod. What that means, you have to get further into the deflection of that rod before you can finally get a good hook set. So if you have a rod that has a more uh, parabolic bend to it, or it has a more moderate action to where it bends further down the blank, that may not be an ideal popping cork rod. But this TFO Tactical has a super fast tip and it would be perfect for a setup just like I'm using. Now let's go ahead and talk about the next thing that I would consider the most important part of this setup, and that would be the reel. The reel is important because when you get these fish that hit on that popping cork on that bait, what they often do is hit it and go under and run. Now what you need is a really good reel that's not only gonna stop that fish, but it's gonna be able to pull line in fast if that fish starts to run directly at you. Now these BGMQs, they are absolute powerhouses and they uh, can not only stop a fish dead in their tracks, but they also have a line pickup speed of almost three feet per turn. So every time that you turn this handle, you're getting almost three feet of pickup speed from this reel. If you're interested in adding a premium reel to your popping cork setup, I would definitely recommend a BGMQ. Uh, it is one of my daily drivers now on almost every single one of my rods, and that is for a very good reason, because these things right here while still one aluminum body frame, they are extremely light and allow me to cast a setup like this all day without tiring out. 
Now, if I had to recommend picking up only one thing from this setup, if you could only choose one thing, I would recommend the rod. The rod would be the most important thing out of this setup because it allows you to get a good hook set when you do get that bite so that you don't lose any of those fish. Number two would be the reel. It is the second most important thing on this setup. It does allow you to quickly get that line in and get control of that fish as soon as they get that bait in their mouth. As you all know, I am Matt in a yak with eight rods in the back and I am a bit of a rod snob. So it's hard to impress me with a rod. And I want to let you know for an individual who used to have a custom rod for their popping cork setup, I can tell you, it has been traded out for this TFO Tactical. This will be my daily driver for my popping cork setup from henceforth uh, after I've been testing it out a while and I'm really happy with it. Uh, so if you are interested in uh, maybe adding a premium popping cork setup to your arsenal, then I would definitely recommend this TFO Tactical Inshore with the BGMQ and uh, one of these four horsemen popping corks. Every single one of these pieces of equipment is built to last. Now I would like to let you know that our insiders do get exclusive discounts on all of their tackle, including everything that I've mentioned in this video. Uh, they get it to 20 or even up to 30% off uh, in our tackle shop at fishstrong.com. And we even let them know uh, the location and the techniques that were uh, productive on all of our fishing trips. If you have any questions for me about this setup or the way I've used it or rigged it, don't hesitate to ask me those questions in the comments section and I'll be sure to get back to you. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we are the number one online fishing club in America. We actually guarantee to help you find and catch more fish, save money on tackle, make friends while doing it, or it's free. So we hope to see you in the Salt Strong Insider Club soon and thanks for watching.